Hello and welcome to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Today we're pimping those ribs on the Royal King Pellet Grill. Don't forget guys, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And also while you're subscribing to the channel, don't forget to go and check me out on Instagram where I post daily content. It should just be here. Check it out and I'll see you over there. Now I love a good rib and what could possibly make it better other than a lovely Jack Daniels sticky glaze on it. Now these are gonna take a lot longer than what my normal ribs would take. So normally I do a two, two, one uh, method on these, but this time I'm going a four, two, one method. So I've got some amazing St. Louis cut ribs from John Davidson Butchers and I'm gonna demembrane them and I'm gonna go and show you how to do that now. Okay, here are the lovely St. Louis style pork spare ribs. Loads of meat on these from John Davison's, as you can see. Um, so let's get them out of the backpack and we'll do some trimming. Okay, first things first, grab yourself a butter knife and find the end um, of the skin. You need to remove the membrane first and then you literally just peel that back. Do it with a butter knife, because if you do it with a normal knife, you'll end up hurting yourself. Maybe grab yourself a little bit of kitchen roll just so you can get a nice grip on it. And there you go, all trimmed up. Also just got rid of any excess fat that was on the top or any flappy bits of skin. And the membrane's all gone on the back as well. So now let's do the same with the other one. And there we go, two ribs, demembraned and all trimmed up. Now let's go and make our seasoning. A tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of paprika, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, chili powder, half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of mustard powder, and one tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now we just want to mix all that together, and then that is what we're left with. Okay, so we're going to use uh, French cheese as a binder on the ribs, so let's get a bit of this over the top and over all sides of it, and then we're just going to rub that. Okay, now we bring the rub back. I like to start off on the back, and we're just going to sprinkle that liberally over both ribs. And there we go, that's all done. So now we're gonna leave that for a good hour just to soak in. So that's the rub made for the ribs. Don't forget to really let that rub soak in. So leave it for an hour before I put it onto the grill. Okay, so the ribs have now been sat there for an hour. So it's now time to fire up the Broil King pellet grill. So let's head on over there now and fire that up. So I'm aiming for 107 degrees, super smoke mode. Don't forget, leave the lid open as well to really let that fire establish. So the Broil King pellet grill is now up to temperature. It's taking its normal 20 minutes to get to the 107 degrees. It is minus two here today, so it's really cold and it's still got the same to the same temperature in the same amount of time. That's how efficient this grill is. So now let's put those ribs onto the grill and we're just gonna leave them for an hour before we do anything. So we're now an hour on and it's now time to start spraying. So we've got a 50-50 mix here of apple cinnamon vinegar cider and water, which is my go-to recipe for these. So just make sure you spray over them and I'll do that every half an hour. So these ribs now have been on for three hours and just look at the color of them. They look absolutely incredible. So it's time to give them a quick spritz and then we'll pop back in another hour. We are four hours in now and these are ready to come off. You can see they're looking absolutely bang on. So let's get them onto the bench and I'll show you how we're gonna wrap them. Here are the ribs off the grill, looking lovely. Hopefully you can see that nicely. And what we're gonna do is uh, make a little boat. This is double foiled here, so it's two layers of foil, and then we're gonna put the apple juice on. And there we go, just for the apple juice to sit in. And now what we're gonna do is pour about 100 ml of apple juice in here. And that's all that wrapped up, and now we'll wrap it up in the double wrap and then repeat the process with the other one and put them back on the grill. It's really important that you tightly wrap those ribs into the foil to make sure that there's no moisture that gets out of them. So let's put them back onto the grill and let the cook carry on. Okay, it is minus two. It is bloody freezing, but it's now time to get these ribs off and see what we've got. And we're also gonna go and make that glaze. Okay, so to make the glaze, we need some maple syrup there, straight into the pot. Need some uh, soy sauce, some ketchup going in. Got some uh, honey here going in. Some apple vinegar cider, brown sugar. A little bit of hot sauce going in. And of course, 
a nice bit of Jack Daniels. There's always that moment when the dish is too small. Now all we need to do is just give this a good mix up and really stir it in. And there you go. And now it's time to put it onto the grill. So that's the glaze all made. It looks absolutely bang on. So let's go and put that onto the grill and just let that heat up. Okay, and that is the ribs um, and the glaze now onto the barbecue. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mop it, as you can see on the grill here. Grab your mop and you just douse the ribs as you go. And we're gonna do that sort of every 10 or 15 minutes until the glaze looks like this and the ribs go that lovely dark color. And now they've gone that lovely dark color, they're now ready to come off of the grill and we're gonna get them on the bench. I'm gonna leave them to sit there just for 10 minutes for that glaze to really, really set in. And now they're on the bench and you can see that the glaze is set and the color on them is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it on ribs before. I'm so looking forward to tucking into these. And cutting them was just like cutting through butter. Really, really good. Can't wait to try these. So let's give it a taste test. And there it is. A lovely glaze glistening. So let's give it a little try. Jesus. Oh my God, I don't think I've ever had anything like it before in my life. That glaze is so sweet and the Jack Daniels just comes through. It's just in your mouth. Oh, and it's got a lovely little kick of heat to it from the chili powder on the rub. That Those are without a doubt the best ribs I've ever had in my life. So, so good. I, you really have to try these. These are absolutely incredible. And the Brawl King was going for just over eight hours and didn't have a single hiccup, nothing, held temperature, absolutely perfect. And didn't even use too many of the pellets either. Really solid performance again from that Brawl King Regal 500. So let's just uh, recap on what we've done today. Um, we had some lovely St. Louis cut ribs from John Davidson Butchers. Um, we then covered them in mustard as a binder. We obviously demembrane de them as well. We also cut off any little niggly bits of fat that we didn't want on there. And then I say we put the mustard on and then we put our own homemade rub onto the uh, ribs and we let that set for one hour. And it's really important, the longer you let that set, the better the flavor is gonna be. We then fired up the Brawl King pellet grill, saying at 107, and we left them on there for four hours to smoke four hours on there. We then took them off, we put them in an apple juice bath, and we put them back on for two hours wrapped in that bath. We then got them off and unwrapped them, and we made our absolutely incredible Jack Daniels honey and maple glaze. We then put that back onto the grill, and we just kept mopping those ribs until they became that lovely, dark, deep color that they were. We got them off, we rested them onto the bench for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we sliced into them, and oh my God, they were good. I ate the entire rack myself, absolutely incredible. Don't forget guys, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave me a little comment and let me know whether you're gonna give this recipe a go, whether you change anything about the recipe. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on